Okay. In theory, people should be able to hear me, but I didn't bring another phone, so I can't test. So somebody has to tell me if you're hearing audio and whether it's any good. Hi, Maria. Does audio work? Hearing just fine? Okay. Good, good. Terrific. I'm up. Oh, you don't have much time? Okay. Well, we're here with Gracie again. She's got to learn some stuff. Right, you big basket case? Hmm? So we'll make sure that audio is still working. Should People might comment on the screen. So Jen's behind the camera for 20 minutes or so. And, uh, and we'll see um, if anything comes up. Other than that, I probably won't be able to see the screen or respond to anything. So I'm just going to do my thing. I'm just going to work with her. Um, we've got a few things to talk about as well as we go about doing our activities. Based on uh, a few comments that have come. Come on. Move. And no pooping. Just walk. Okay, so um, like all training, we need to start with something that she's got to go poop, so I've got to let her go poop. You got to go or what? No? Well, um, we always start with what is, in general, the litmus test of whether or not I can move a horse around. Good. You need to keep your butt out there, big girl. Um, and change directions, back up, and go around. Let's see if she... Stop it. Hey, good. Very good. You're snugging in too close. You need to move off. But I need her to be able to go around me in an understandable and calm way. And when I've got a basic circle coming down pretty good, then I will start changing my location of my circle to make sure that I can get her to do these things. Hey, calm down, calm down. Come here, come here. Yeah, I get it. You're a little worried. Just move your feet and out there. <laughs> so, um, well, just get moving around. She's a little stuttery because she's worried about, well, the ball, probably. But she needs to be a little bit worried, more worried about what I'm asking. Instead of uh, worrying about whether or not the ball is a big deal. So we might have to address the ball in a second here. Get out. Freaking me out. Out you go. Okay, go poo. It's about time. We've all been waiting for the poo-poos. Great, let's clean it up. We don't have the very big arena here, so we can't just wander off to some other location. And I'm not interested in it getting squished into the ground because I like my arena. Um, but it's actually a really good practice for her as well because she can learn how to just lead along with me. And I can do two things at once. Okay, no more poo-poo is okay. It takes up a lot of time to clean up after you. Okay, moving on. Now, we've got a lot of things that I'd like to do and a few things I'd like to talk about when it comes to training her. And I guess we better address the ball. Is the, is the camera actually capturing us pretty good? Okay. <clears throat> um, 
We did the ball the other day and uh, she did pretty good with it. So we got to address this a little bit better today because I'm not sending the ball out of the arena. Come here ball. Now we'll bounce it a little. If she wants to leave, she can. Hopefully I can get good at bouncing a ball and leading a horse. Nope, not that good. Slow down, come here. So, see if she can manage this with me. She does, that's good. Fantastic. Okay, Gracie, kick it. We're working on this last time, you can get it. Kick it. <laughs> I'll kick it. All right, well, I'll go around it then. I'm gonna step in and have her go through it. See if she remembers. Come on, move your feet. Move your feet, you find your way around it. That a girl. <laughs> Keep thinking. Good, now come through. Come on. Good girl. Let's pet her for that. Give her a, hey, I said stop. Good. Pay attention. <laughs> Little Miss Distracted, back up. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. See if we can get it done a little bit quicker. She's actually much better than she was the first time. Whoop, as in the first time I brought the ball in here. Let her think. It's nothing like teaching your horse how to be patient. That you'll be patient with them. So, come on, move your feet. Figure out your way around it. Come on. Well, if you gotta jump it, then jump it. That's fine too, maybe. Come on, no, don't go around. Go back, now stop. Go forward, get rid of the ball. Move the ball. Good, nope. Come get it, get the ball. Oh, there we go. There's a leg, that's better. Good girl. Okay, do it again, silly. It's just a ball, kick it. I think she's gonna jump it. I didn't know better. Oh, there, she got some movement. Get her to not come between me and the ball. I don't want that. Give her some rope. You gotta be really elastic with your rope. You gotta move your rope. I'm a real free tether sometimes kind of thing. Oh, I'm not gonna let you come through. You gotta go through it, figure it out. <laughs> now that's funny. Okay, come on. Come on. Good. Walk through. Come on, walk through. Walk through. Walk, walk, walk. Thank you. Now stop. Okay, not bad. So maybe we can play with this thing a little bit <clears throat> more. And then we'll go chase it down. Go get it. <laughs> playtime. It's just a bit of playtime. Hey. Okay, go get it. All right, let's go, come on. All right, your turn. Kick it. Yay! 
Good girl. Come here. Don't be so afraid of me cheering. It's a good thing. Yeah. Good girl. That's your best yet. Did you know that? It's your best yet. Okay, good. Maybe she doesn't like the rubbins though. I'm not doing that again. It gets all over my face and bothers me. Okay. Do it again. It's right underneath you. <laughs> As if she doesn't know. <laughs> Good girl. Okay. Well, maybe we don't have to be afraid of that so much. We'll move on to the next thing. Today's a big day for, for Gracie. <clears throat> now, some of you might be thinking, wow, she takes a saddle pad. And it's true, it is a little bit of a wow. But uh, she's done this before. I think I've shown it, but maybe I haven't. But she does manage things on her back now. I don't know how much she manages, but I know I can wrap something around her body. I've done all that. I need her to move. Hey, pay attention, get moving. So because it's just on her back and not tied on, I do have to be cautious that she doesn't just flip it off and relieve her own pressure. It's a bit of a big pad, but I'm okay with that. Come on, get moving. Good girl. So again, we just fall back to our basic circles and back up. So I have no idea how well this thing will fit. I've never put this on here, so you guys get to see this live. You are on this journey together with us today. Should be fun. Now I've taken off the breast collar because uh, it doesn't matter. At the moment, but I will get that figured out. Okay, there, monkey. What do we do with you? This thing's on the wrong side. I'd rather be on this side of you, putting it on. And that's a that's a human thing right now. I'm doing this as for me that I will uh, cinch her up when I'm on her good side or what I figure is her good side even though I've worked on both sides of her body and she's not bad. She is better on one side than the other. So am I. So you might as well just set it up to succeed a little better by doing that. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's a conscious choice. I actually got that equal. How about that? Okay, here we go. I need your uh, your girth. Now again, I've already uh, cinched her up with a couple things here and there, so I'm not overly worried about cinching her. What I am worried about is the stirrups banging against her when I get her to go. Also, the sensation of this is going to be different than what I've used in the past. But I want this thing to be on reasonably good before I chuck her around a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. It won't come off at the very least. So I'm going to draw her first rather than drive her. Better be cautious though in this kind of approach because if she decided to shoot forward, I would have to be ready to be out of the way. She's going all right, I'll drive her around. Keep going. So with everything we've done, she says, I gotta go poo-poo's again. Somebody put a saddle on. Might as well poo right at the camera. Stay calm, stay calm. So that's okay. So Jen sneezed and uh, Gracie realized that there's something on her back. 
and she'd like it to come off. That's fine. Calm down. You're gonna be okay. So just because I've had stuff on her back, like I said, the floppy um, uh, stuff, like the stirrups, I'm gonna draw her a little. I'm gonna drive her a little. The floppy stirrups and the saddle pack on the back are both going to bother her and worry her, change directions. She's going too fast, I don't need speed. What's that? Sorry? Well, I'm not, I don't care about the poo right now, but thanks. I don't have a, oh, that's a good point actually. Usually I clean up the poop, but I won't do it until I know for sure that she's okay. If I were to check out on her, I'd be taking a big chance. Come on, Gracie, just walk. So you see our circles are a mess right now. So change directions, have her walk around. She's got to manage having something on her back and it not totally freak her out. Why do you have to poop again? No pooping. I don't want a bunch of poop right here. This is uh, one nugget. Okay, come on. Let's work over here then. Come on, don't worry about the ball. But she's got to do these things. Come on, come forward. Good girl. Keep going forward. Good. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Go the other way. Good girl. Talk to your horse as much as you can. You know. It's okay. Tell them they're good. But be firm, you know, about this business of going around you. You don't want their butt coming in. You need their nose staying in, but not their butt. She says, well, a couple more poops. So it's a scary thing. <clears throat> so, now it's time to mess with the saddle a little. It's actually falling backwards on her a bit. So that would worry a horse. And it doesn't sit quite right. Not that she knows what right is. Back up. Thank you. Good girl. Move your nose. <clears throat> now, uh, it's not as tight as it could be, so I'm just going to cinch it up one more notch and keep going. This is something that you can do even if you have a bro you know, broke horse or acclimated horse to saddles and stuff. When you go to saddle them up, you can take your time cinching. Take two or three times to cinch them up. And chuck the rope at her a little. This will get everything done. So you keep moving. You're okay. Go the other way. Oh, she just checked in there for a second. So, these worried things, you can't reassure them enough. Just wait for them to take a breath. She says, this is really scary, man. Maybe, maybe I can clean up poops now. Oh, uh, no, it's good practice for her and I. She's not jumping around and stuff and has sort of back up, back up, back up. Good girl. And don't freak out about the ball. Stay on one side. So all of these things we do without a saddle, I do with a saddle. So I'm really just repeating everything I've done so far, but she's got a saddle on. First time ever. So that's not bad. I'm proud of you. You're a good girl. Okay, she had one more little poop somewhere. Let me just wander around with her. Now she'll have an easier time being drawn than she will leading, uh, driving. And so, um, She's reaching for me. I was talking about this today to somebody else. The horse that is reaching is looking to find comfort in, um, in your presence. 
and whatever you might be able to get them to do. And in this case, I just need her to walk around with me. But she's doing just fine. A little worried about the ball. I'm okay with that. Okay, travel around me. Let's get these circles done. Ah, whack the saddle a little. And she's not gonna feel that. It's just gonna make a sound on her back. But she's gotta get used to things hitting the saddle and saddle moving around, realizing it's not gonna eat her. Whoa, good girl. That's really good. Hey, you're a smart horse. I feel like something's kind of going good. I might come in and play with the, um, well, closer to show you guys what I'm doing. Not too close, because I need a little bit of space. <clears throat> but I might start playing around with the stirrups a little here, because they just got to mead something one day. So I might put my arm out, expecting her to go forward, and she's stuck. So I might just bump, 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 bump. And if she starts moving, stop and pet her. She's already worried enough. But this is the start of our pr saddle practice. It's good. You gotta go. Bye, Jenny. I'll talk to you a little bit. Hopefully I don't die here all alone. Come on. So this is one side of her. This is her left side. Now we'll draw her. You can't make a gate movement without a horse yelling at you. you jingle a chain and they all Santa Claus, the kid's calling out. Okay, I'll drive her around me. Come on, get moving. Hit the saddle a little. She's not getting hit, she shouldn't be so worried. She should put up with this a little. In fact, she might even take some comfort from it. I'll come by. I don't really want her to move, I just want to hit the saddle, so I'm gonna rain stop her, because we've got that figured out. I just want to whack this a little. Pet her, whack. Pet her, whack, stop her, pet her, whack, stop her, pet her, whack. And with time, a little bit of time, she'll get this figured out. I know, it's a scary business. One rain stop, back her up. She's getting a little humpy at this point in time, so I'm just going to send her up. Humpy meaning that she's getting her back up a little, she looks a little bit tense. I'd like her not to be. Send her around, change directions right here, back her up, go the other way. But stay away from me, stop making straight lines. I know, I did that, I cut you off. Okay, keep going. Send the rope out. Oh, it's getting a little wiry. She says, oh, it's starting to move around. You're on the wrong side of my body. Yeah, she's almost ready to launch. So we better just bring her back down to earth. Hey, calm down. As I said, horses and humans, we all have good sides and not so good sides. So we just keep practicing. Now when she goes this way, inertia takes the saddle and moves it around in comparison to the other way. We have to consider the physics of her actions. I'll chuck this over her back again. A little more. Change directions. We gotta get both sides. Back up, go around, go around, go around, go around. Go, go, good girl. Chuck a rope on her, draw her. I need to draw. Yeah. She's a big thinker today. You have to do some thinking. Looks good. Let's try the stirrups again. Put my arm out because she knows she needs to go. She goes. Oh. Bump, bump, bump. There we go. Now, ideally, she would move just with me pressing this thing on her. So we'll try that. We'll stop her. Oh, I'll stop her. Put my arm out. Okay, take the 
press it into her body. She doesn't go. Bump, 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 bump. There we go. Press it into her body. Oh, there we go. We got to go. Draw her. The draw is the break. When I draw, she can have a break because all she has to do is follow. It's a different place to be. Let's give her a couple of minutes to breathe. Think about this business of a saddle on her back. Let's shift it around a bit, mess around a little. Things are a little bit, you know, noisy. Now, this all said, even doing this while she's standing still <clears throat> doesn't always mean something. So, hey, don't come towards me anymore. Go around. If you can get this stuff done while they're moving, it's even better. So come on. And this is where I get to practice using my stirrups. So go on. Good. And the stirrups will mean something. There. Shake the saddle a little. Stop her there. Draw. Good girl. And see the, the, I don't know if you guys could see that, but the rope, the lead rope to the halter doesn't get tight. I don't have to fight with her to come. When I ask to draw, she draws. And it's light. It's just your fingers. We'll draw. Yeah. Something small. That's fine. She's done pretty good. I'm going to give her a break. Take it off. Put it on the fence. I'm going to let her go in a second here. Let's get a little bit more. See if her circles are any better. Chuck a rope on her. You see? That's going to feel different. She's going to recognize the same action, but it feels different. Keep her butt out. Draw. Drive. Drive. Go around. Other side. Good girl. I know, we have to work on your rope stuff today. I promised everybody I'd work on your rope stuff. So we have to do that a little bit too. Draw. Come. Good. You're free. Go roll. Put your head down. Don't stay up high. Good girl. Fantastic. Okay. What do you say? Do you want to stay or go? She wants to go. It's good. No problem with that. Okay, so that's our first 20, 25 minutes of effort. Um, I think she did great. A little bit of concern there with the saddle. Let's see if anybody has any questions that are something I can answer. Hmm. David's here, Abia Ranch. Twinkie, hello. Oh, Jen's Jen's been responding. Um Who else is here? I want to say hi to everybody, but I don't think my comments will go back far enough. Susan and Sue and Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Um, okay, let's see what we've got for questions. Gracie is back to put up with the shenanigans. It's true. She um, She's going to be getting a lot of work. So I'm just at the top of comments. So I'll have to read through a little bit while she takes a break. I'm hoping for her to have a roll. So we're really waiting for her to, to relax and take it easy and um, come out of her state of concern. If I'm, if I'm lucky, we can get another uh, bit of training to go on after this. Okay, so sound and video is good. Susan says she loves Gracie. Baby Gracie's a firecracker, that's what I love about her. Well, she's got the most sweetest nature. I'll get to know and trust you. Yeah, she is um, pretty interesting. And uh, 
Got a lot of energy, a lot of concern though. Um, so, uh, it's fine. I don't have a problem with a lot of energy. I don't have a lot of problem with concern. And uh, um, I would have a problem with a horse that just couldn't couldn't get past I, just, I don't mind working at it i don't mind finding these gaps and stuff so is lena better with traffic a little a little she is uh jen says i haven't done too much but actually when i take her out on trails i've taken her out on a few trail rides lately and um and uh she uh she did better so i haven't really directly dealt with it but sort of some indirect action uh getting done uh with that so um, yeah, it's a little better. Okay, um, what did I do before this, Susan asks. I think Jen answered that. I swear I saw something. Uh, yes, um, where did his qualifications come from for the horses? My qualifications have come from horses. <laughs> I get this question a lot. Uh, before before I did this, I was uh, sat at a desk a lot. Uh, did uh, I've done, that's why I've been doing so many things that involve technology because I'm I've been sort of on the cutting edge of technology for a long time, but I just sort of got just interested in making that my job. So and I got into horses. As for qualifications. Um, I hear people getting qualifications from different trainers that are out there, uh, whether they book study, video study, um, my qualifications don't come. I don't have, I don't have any pieces of paper that will tell you how good I am from somebody else. Uh, my mind come from what you see, everything you see, all the horses that I, I, I deal with, um, uh, that's they they qualify my learning they qualify my knowledge and, and wisdom <clears throat> and if they were failing then that means that I don't I don't know what I'm doing but so far so good hey David glad your shoulders getting better um, you know it's uh, it's interesting let's see what she does with the, oh she I thought she might play with the saddle a little but maybe not um, yeah, well, horses buck around like that, and uh, I'm not happy with that. I wish that she didn't do that. That's a failure on my part uh, for her to buck around like that. It means that I probably didn't do enough, and I had said that from the get-go, that uh, I think that the stirrups will bother her. Uh, I'm glad I could be here with her, um, give her some space while asking her to stay out of mine, because it's scary. Horses are uh, big animals, and when they're jumping around and really really scared they, they have no ability to listen they have no ability to do other than maybe if you appear to be like a big wall or something or uh, something it's telling them to go away and um, so they, they'll be able to listen to that um, but you won't have a lot of um, direction so uh, we don't we don't want that we don't we don't we don't want them bronking out or bucking out or oh, she play with the ball maybe so i don't want that i wish i didn't get it uh i could have done more to prepare her but either way we've made it through so far and um i'm happy with that right now so susan says sneeze again it would be kind of good if she sneezed again to show that maybe gracie doesn't have to be concerned but that is something to pay attention to some simple thing that took her attention away so much uh, to what we, she was concentrating on me and the saddle and proof that she wasn't handling it was that she couldn't handle the third thing uh, she's got to go pee she says oh this is the best place ever to go pee so um when when you have that when you say you're riding or something like that and you think you got control or you've got most of the control that you think you need and then something happens, you think, well, what'd you freak out about? It's really because they can only handle one or two things at a time, if you're lucky. And then when you add in, if they're already overwhelmed with those one or two things, and you add in a third, you're done. They're done. 
And uh, so that's what that was. That was is the equivalent of somebody smacking the wall or something like that. Watch this. See, she gets a little jittery. So what's that? There, see, she can handle that. So that would be something that I'd have to acclimate her to. And um, if she had to already handle two or three other things or just one really scary thing, uh, then then you'd, you'd lose the horse and you have to be prepared for that. Well prepared for it. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, you weren't expecting the reaction from the sneeze. <laughs> yeah, it's from Jen. Yeah, she did, she sneezed. Um, but it's just a sound, it's no different than if I hit the wall like I was doing here just now. You know, that makes noise, it worries her. So, I have to keep, uh, keep that in mind. Um, okay, moving on. Never ever let her stop those head tosses. I don't think I could. People ask me all the time, why does she toss her head so much? I don't know, but you know, maybe if she was less irritated, she'd probably do it less. MS Spinner Bait. Spinner Bait? That's funny. Uh, she says, love your videos. Thanks. Um, that was awesome. Yeah, uh, Dana says, uh, I was amazed how calm you stayed when she was breaking out. Um, being calm is everything, uh, I think, to horses. If you're standing there just waiting for them and being patient for them to work it out, it means everything. If you're freaking out and getting really worried, you'll send them off. Um, and uh, it, it just it just doesn't go well. You, it, plus, you can't really respond um, uh, to what they're doing if you're if you're um, if you're freaking out. You won't have you won't have a good, calm, calculated response to uh, what's happening if you. Uh, are freaking out yourself. So staying calm, <clears throat> and that's acclimation itself. You have to uh, do this enough times. And again, it comes down to doing the, the groundwork, the circle work, where um, you, uh, you, you, you have the foundation in place to tell, look at her just staring and waiting for me. I'm over behind some barrels. I've got some barrels in the way here. And um, so she can't really make it over here. That was the point of this little corner. So when Jen sat here, she doesn't have to worry about exactly what just happened, where she got worried about the saddle. But the point is that um, with all the foundation in place, she knows what to do. She knows to get out of my space. She knows to back up. She knows to stop. But it, when they're freaking out like that, when they're just losing it and trying to get something off their back, because they're sure they're going to die. Horses are fearful creatures. And... Um, they're, I think 99% of the behaviors that they show to people are fear. And I've had opposing opinions to that, but I, I, won't, I won't see it that way. You couldn't convince me of it. It is 99% fear. 1% is something else, and that may be undetermined, uh, but it's fear. So if you look at your horse and you say, you're just afraid, don't worry. I'll get you through this. Um, then you will. I make it look easy. Ah, I hear that a lot. It, there are times when it is definitely not easy. I come out of it pretty um, worked up as well. Uh, but yeah, I trust her and I feel that she trusts me and um, in, in most, most ways, you know. But it just takes time. We've had a year, uh, so her time to move forward is now. Okay. Enough of my monologuing. Let's get back to work. Come here, big girl. I need you. Good. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Good girl. Birds are going crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear them because I've got my microphone on this time. It sits on my shirt rather than on the phone, so it doesn't pick up all the ambient noise. So, but they're loud. Can you uh, come back this way? Thanks. Just take my time. I don't have any brush putting on a halter. Okay, so the next thing I want to work on is our, our long rope that I was doing the last time we were in here. And I actually have no idea where the camera's facing, so 
I'm gonna have her come up to the barrels anyways. And I think we'll work facing that way. Seems pretty good, yeah? Great. Okay, so I've got this rope here. It's not ideal for this situation. Um, combine that it's in a mess, so bear with me while I fix it. Uh, it, it was, it's not a roping rope of any sorts. It's actually just a soft uh, triple braid nylon rope that was originally used um, <laughs> for making a swing in here. And uh, so it's got about, I think it could hold 4,000 pounds or something silly. It's a really strong rope. But the problem is actually with it is it's too soft. Uh, it doesn't have enough rigidity to it. So it's not ideal for everything, but it's ideal for what I want to do today. So I'm just going to coil this up in as neat as a fashion as I can. Notice my lead rope is just curved over my arm here. It's not wrapped around or anything like that. If she wanted to go, she could leave, but I've got about eight feet of rope to figure that out with. Right, but she's not going anywhere. Okay, so what I did last time um, was I tried to toss the rope over top of her and have it drag down the other side of her body, like that. And a lot of horses will get pretty worried when they have something dragging down the wrong side of their body, meaning you're on one side and the, the rope's on the other. So I'm just gonna play around. This is just literally just playtime, mostly. I don't need her to trot or do anything weird. If she does, I'll stop her. I might just draw her like that, take it off of her back. But she needs to get used to having ropes thrown around her, you know. Just because she's Arabian doesn't mean she can't go rope a cow one day or something. But she's got to be able to manage these ropes flying around her and stuff. So my lead rope on her is literally just hung over my, my middle finger at the moment. I'm not holding it if she wanted to go a little further from me. She has every availability to do so. So I'll hit her legs, go over her back again, chuck it way over there. Now I'm making a lot of underhand throws because I don't want her um, thinking that I'm going to throw it at her and attack her with it. So. She's getting a little too worried. So I'm going to leave that on there and send her around. You'll notice her nose will go on the other side of her body because she needs to check that out. So I'm just going to bug her butt, get her out there. Give her another loop here. Send her out a little more. No, nope, she's got to go poo-poo's again. How are you not empty by now? Hey, why are you not empty by now? Okay, come on. Now, admittedly, this takes a little bit of coordination and organization, so it's not always going to look perfect. I'd like her not to react. If she can get that figured out. But just keep playing. Be elastic arms, you know. When you're training your horses, you really want to... There we go. Good. Step on it. Drag it around. I need another loop. See, the problem with loose or light ropes like this is that they don't, they don't organize well. There. See? On the other side, moving around. It's weird. So she's got to manage that. Now I need her to move, so I'm just going to get a little bit of active. Get her feet moving. I don't want her standing still. Now it's on her back legs. So she should get used to that a little. It's a good thing. Can't have her afraid of everything. So, take that over. Let that slide down her body a little. Hit her back legs a little. And again, my lead rope is simply looped over my middle finger. I'm not holding on to her or making her stay. If she wanted to leave me, she could leave me in an instant. That said, we are in an enclosed area, so... Okay, keep going. Come on. Let's get a little more rope out there. 
see what we can get done. I need another loop. There we go. Wow, it's really dragging. I'll get it up towards her withers a little, move her around a bit. Ask her to draw back. Hey, come here. I know. It's right on your legs. She says, ah, make it stop and get off of me. I'll stop her there. Oh, it's tucked under her tail. This might not go well. Horses that sort of, there we go. When you, you'll be messing around and you might get something stuck underneath the tail. I've done it a few times because they just pinch their tail in so tight. I've had horses take stuff out of my hands, flags and sticks and stuff. Oops, that's a good way to die. Okay, get going. Whoa, where did that go? There you go, keep dancing. It's on your legs, get moving. Get moving. Good. You know, you gotta get these things good with all kinds of stuff. So, today is ropes and saddle. Look at that wrap around her legs. Let's see if I can stop her. Do I have control? She says, oh, I released my own pressure. Yeah, I see that. So, put it back on top of her. Stop. It's hard to rope you when you're moving around so much. There you go. Yeah, not that good. Good, keep going. So, you know, I'm only going in one direction so far. I'm not really addressing the other side yet, but I will. Need a little more rope. There. Okay, I need to draw her back. She's getting too far away from me. I'll come in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a little scary. So, so, oh, geez. That thing's really bugging my legs. Stop. Stop. Back up. Yeah, it sucks. Back up. Back up. Good. Oh, nope. Don't go sideways. Just back up. There. Nope. There. Good. Think. Have a think. Pet her. Tell her she's a good girl. That's a lot of work. We did a lot of work there. That's longer than I might usually go between reassurances. <laughs> what? She get used to this. Yeah, you silly monkey. Hey, says up. Oh, I gotta move. That's good. I like it when you move. Okay, let's change directions while the rope is on her. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's find out. Come on. Go the other way. Good luck with it. Yeah. Uh, come on. Wrong. Keep thinking. I know. I know. It's a big deal. Let's give you a little less and we'll try again here. There. How about that? Now go. Come on. Move your feet. There. Good girl. Good. Yeah, now let's wrap around your body a little. You'll live. Come on, go. Not backwards, just forwards. There. <laughs> Come on, move. Good. Out. Out, don't come in. Go on. Go on, go forward. There we go. That's pretty good. Go forward. Give her another loop. Now we got a lot of rope out. Come to think of it. <sighs> Wrong. Thank you. Keep going. So you see the groundwork and the circle work is imperative. You never know what you might need to get done. If you guys have never seen um, Ray Hunt work some cult magic, he does all kinds of tricks like this, where you've got pressure on more than one side of the body, but he was never able to scientifically explain why it was so effective. And now we can, we've got books out there that explain why this is a big deal. 
All right. So I'm pulling it along her body and I'm hoping she'll keep moving while I do it. I'll flick it off. Better. You did great. That's hard work. That's really hard work. That is super hard work. Give her a break. Hey, there's a rock in here. Look at the size of this thing. Sometimes rocks arrive in the sand that you get. So rope works coming along nicely. That's much better than she was before. Back her up. Let's do some close work. And we'll call it a day pretty soon. Okay, I want her butt to move. Butt, just the butt. Good. Good. Very good. Let's try again. Back up. Back up. Back up. You're on top of me. Back up. Good. Now your butt. Good. Very good. Calm down. You're good. You did good. Okay. Chuck a rope over top. This is purposeful. I want the rope on the other side of her body on purpose. It's a contact thing. Okay, I want the butt. I'm going to tap her with my finger. There we go. Just on her, almost her last rib. I don't want the front feet. I don't want the front. I need you to back up. Come around. Tap, tap. Not the front. I need the front to stop. I don't need to climb on top of me. But this is quite particular work. Back up. Back up. Good. No. Yes. That's it. Good. Stay calm. Tap, tap, tap. Good. That's perfect. Tap, 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 tap. There. Whoop. Good. Take the rope off. Good girl. That's very good. <clears throat> no rope on her this time. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Tap, tap. Good. Very, very good. Come here. Mm. Big deal. No rope. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, she came forward a bit. I'll back her up a step. Try again. Tap, 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 tap. There. Very good. Pet her. That's pet her. Hey, you did really well. Carrots and apples for you. What do you say? So, that's kind of what I would do with her, or any horse, if I wanted to sort of address a few things at once. <sighs> nice draw. You were good. Let's let you go one more time. We'll address any comments that might or might not be there. Hey, come here. You're a good girl. Hmm, just heard something. Sorry, I'm looking up top. Um, so hopefully that, uh, that kind of work makes sense to any of you out there watching, wondering, maybe there's some new ideas. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're old. Maybe there's something better. Okay. Let's see. Um, Betty says it did great with a saddle. Thanks, Betty. Head tossing more looks like a nervous tick, maybe, and not aggressive. Nope, it's not aggressive at all. Um, hi, Maureen. I see ponies toss their head a lot, says Maria. Horses, not so much. Thought they were being sassy, but if 90%, it must be fear. I believe it is. You don't have to believe what I believe, but I believe that, I mean, for Gra oh, it's a helicopter going over top. I think for Gracie, it is a bit of a stress relief, a bit of anxiety. Um, you know, it's, it, it's hard to see she'll shake her head and try to release, release some stress. I think it's a bit, you know, of a stress relief. I think it helps her organize. Right, big girl? Um, so, you know, I don't see it as a big deal. I'm not, I don't have a big problem with it. Uh, and Wilson says she seems eager to please. Gracie is very well connected. Um, uh, let me uh, let me explain. <clears throat> so, eager to please is an interesting idea, but a horse can be quite interested in being with you. 
But it doesn't mean that they maybe want to be with you. So I'm going to work with her off halter for a second here and see what we can get done. I'll show you if she's eager to play. Right now she's not eager to please, if we were to look at it that way. But I'm going to try to draw. She won't draw, so I'll send. We'll send her. Now she'd like to leave. And she's saying, I'd like to leave. I say, well, I'm okay with that. I'd like to leave too. I like cookies and coffee and delicious things in my tummy. I need to draw. Now I have draw. The question is whether this is eager to please or not. I don't know. But I think it's, I'll listen to you if I have to. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Stay. All right, draw. Now I use words as much as I can. Stay. Draw. 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 Good. Stay. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good. Very good. So now I'll come around. Will she follow me the other way? A bugger. Draw. Do I have any draw? Is she eager to please? See? It's a funny concept, this. It's been in the horse world forever. Like, respect. Do I have any draw? No, I'm going the wrong way down the arena. Is she connected? She's pretty connected. Watch, I'll reach towards her hip. Oh, poke, 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 poke. She knows to move. I'll reach towards her hip. Poke, 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 poke. Blocker, draw. Now something's got her worried behind her. So I'm just gonna make a little noise. Get her away from the gate. The gate has more draw than I do. She's eager to please the gate. <laughs> See, I don't know. These old concepts in the, in the horse world, I, I question every single one of them. Says, this is real? Does this make sense? I don't know if you guys saw all that. Hope so. Um, so I think she's eager to, uh, to get out and she might just be trying to figure out how to do that. So what kind of horse breed is Gracie says Rachel. Gracie's Arabian. Oops, who already answered that. Hi from Wisconsin. Have you ever heard of a place called Smiles, which is a horse therapeutic place for people with disabilities located in Wisconsin? No, I haven't. I don't know anything about Wisconsin. I don't even know where it is exactly, except it's in the States. Um, she's more eager to please. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So, Miss Dill Pickle. That's a funny name. So I really, I just have questions. Is she eager to please? I couldn't even say no to that. I can't say no, but I can't say yes. Is she willing to, you know, connect up or hook on or any of its other catchphrases that other horsemen have? Yeah, she is. Um, would I get it from her without bugging her first? Uh, maybe. It's much better with Luke. He's more sort of classically conditioned to sticking with me. If he sticks with me, he'll probably get what he wants. So she's talking a lot. Her head flick might be just like, can you let me out? Can I get out? Can I get out? Can I get out? I want to get out. Can I get out? Is it that? All good questions. So I'm going to leave it at that, I think. I don't know if I missed anything. I hope I didn't miss any chats or questions or because they've all just disappeared on me now. And now I have none. Ugh. Hate YouTube. Uh, except for the last one. She's also very clever. Seems to be able to figure out what you're asking. Lots of communication. She is very clever. I'd have to admit that um, she's very, very smart. Uh, I don't think she's sassy, but you'd have to define sassy for me. My definition of sassy is not her. I don't believe any horses, but that's just me. Again, it's just my opinion. I think she's got a lot of energy and she talks a lot. <laughs> what is she doing next to the saddle? Her eyeball is literally touching the saddle. 
but she's adorable, she's soft, she's kind, she's very smart. Um, she's got a lot of energy. She's got a willingness. No, don't dig. I'll be there in a sec. That's all talking. That's all, hey, can I want to connect with you. So I say, I'll connect with you, I'll come. What do you need? Kind of thing, you know, what can I help you with? You'd like to leave. I understand that. I hear you. What if I could just rub your withers? Would you accept that instead? Would that be okay? Oh, she says a little bit forward, right there. That's the spot. No, a little bit this way. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's right there. See, so maybe, you know, if I do these kinds of things, she can accept being with me. And in time, this kind of communication between the both of us um, will get so much better that her draw to me will be so much stronger and it will appear like she was eager to make me happy. But they sort of have to have, I think, a little bit higher level of understanding, maybe. I don't know. No, that feels not bad, eh? Do you want to shake that off a little? Let's see what she thinks. You know, just looking for them to talk to us. I'm going to move a little bit more towards her butt. Point at it. Say, move it. Poke, 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 poke. She moves her feet. Oh, she's leaving. There. Back. Back. Liberty work is is really, really good. You can't do enough liberty work, I think. Driving them, cutting off their drive line, drawing them. When she gets really good, she'll watch my foot leave and she'll come with it. My foot will draw her foot. Not right now though. But that'll get better. Better. She's still a little worried. She's looking behind her, wondering if there's a bear outside. Draw, draw, draw. Good girl. Good girl. So, your own observations. What do you think? She's drawing. I'm coming to my corner, my safety corner. Horses like corners too. Um, David, you're welcome for joining in in the training session. Uh, can you toss the ball between her legs for the road? Sure. Sue, you wish you could give her a big hug? I'll give her a hug for you. Yeah, creating a bond does take time. How much longer before you can ride her? Uh, not too much longer, I think. Has her status changed in the herd at all? Uh, well, I did a live stream today of her in the arena. So you can see that. Um, and uh, I don't know. I think it's changed a little bit only because she's such a ninja and she's so fast at everything. So, okay, let me put the halter on her for this. We'll get it done. Play with the ball one last time, just for funsies. I like how she doesn't leave when I come up with the halter. Very happy with that. Gracie Sue says I have to give you a big hug. So, happy to oblige. Hug my horses every day. I don't see why you shouldn't or wouldn't. All right, you're a big girl. Uh, big hug. Does she like it? No. Is it pressure? Yes. <laughs> Can she tolerate it? I'll give her some scratches on her favorite part of her withers right after that. There we go. We got it. We got it. That's it. Yeah, another big hug. Okay, just for Sue. All right, moving on. Okay, come with me. Let's chuck the ball between your legs. For the internet. Just kidding. Okay, you ready? Don't move. Right there. Ready? Hopefully I can aim this right. Score! <laughs> Good 
good girl. You are a good girl. Hey. Eh? So it's good playtime. She could learn that. You could do that and give her a carrot, you know, give a little treat. This could be treat training. You could do a little treat training with this kind of stuff. I don't see any problem with that. They'd associate it with something kind of nice. It'd be good. I personally prefer just a, a social experience. Horses don't give other horses treats. So I sort of struggle with that a little bit, but anyways, hopefully that all makes sense. I'm going to end that there. Hopefully you guys have all enjoyed that. Um, and uh, maybe pick something up here and there. Those are the reins I was going to put on her, but we didn't graduate to that today. Maybe next time. Right? Let's come all the way into my corner. I don't have much space here. So. Says the barrel moved. So she's a little worried. We'll get her, we'll get her good with this. Um, you guys are welcome and thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, popping in to check, it, check out what she's up to. She's a special horse. And she's come a long, 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 long ways and has a long, long, long way to go. Um, but I think she's well on her way to being where she should be. Today was a milestone. So, um, anyways, thank you to everybody who's come and supported and watched and, and, and given so many compliments, nice things to, to say about her and to her. She makes me look good. Let's put it that way. A little red spider running on my phone. That was weird. But yeah, she makes me look like I actually know what I'm doing. She's a good horse. So look forward to seeing how she goes in the near future. You're welcome, Barb. Good night, David. I hope you have a good night too. Um, you're welcome, Twinkie and uh, Sue. Hopefully you enjoyed the hugs. <laughs> we should do a 360 hug, right? Put a 360 camera on her. So, all right. Okay, everybody, I will uh, see you guys again uh, tomorrow. We'll be doing a bunch um, more uh, this week. I'm hoping maybe, maybe if everything goes well, I might be able to do daily. Um, I know, I hear you. See, she's she's talking. She, she gave one little, she said, what are you doing? Why are you just sitting there chitty chatting? Don't worry. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do daily and uh, and you guys can watch her grow over the next week, see how far she gets. Don't dig, I heard you. Yeah. Uh, Betty says, I heard what you said about treats. Um, you know, uh, treats, I'll just do this quickly. Uh, at what time? Oh, good question, you know. I wish I could sort of schedule my day really well. Uh, if, if I was gonna do anything tomorrow, um let's i think i'd shoot for the morning i'd shoot for the morning here pacific time um i'd say nine ish or something like that if i was going to do something i think unless something comes up which i don't think it will and i uh, will go for a little while <laughs> there's your horse nose for the day <laughs> she's really getting brave coming in here now um but treats for horses, you know, treats can be used here and there, I think, but I almost never, I, in fact, when training, I never give treats, ever, ever. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't, it doesn't mean you can't, it doesn't mean that I'm right. Um, it's just not what I do. And the way I see it is that, uh, um, that there, there, there's a hard, it's hard to give treats. <laughs> Look at her. It's hard to give treats accurately. And if you're in the middle of the training, sometimes, you know, but something like that, where I have to kick a ball between your legs, I think I might do that. I think I might have a pocket of carrots or something like that, or pieces of carrots. Do you guys see her eyes do that? I don't know if you saw that. A double eyelid thing going on when yawning. Yeah, that's a stress relief. You see, it's a good thing. Um, and so, you know, there, there's a time and place, but mostly not for me. And horses don't give other horses treats. They don't even let them eat if they can help it. It's hard to follow her. She's moving around so much. 
<laughs> yeah, horses have a double eyelid and they'll blink it when they yawn mostly. So there you go. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you, everybody. Once again, I really appreciate everybody popping in. And, um, and uh, I know, I know. Calm down. She's actually getting very soft with her digging. See? It's just a very tiny little dig. Ah, you got to spend time with horses. I got to admit, I, I can't, can't really, I can't explain this feeling of being, being with her. It's amazing. So, okay, everybody have yourselves a good evening, morning, afternoon, night, whatever you're doing. And uh, if everything goes well, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I know, I know. Don't bow your head at me. I get it. I hear you. Yes. See, it's funny. She's dancing in front of me. Don't chew on that. Dance, dance. Little digs, little dig. Okay, I gotta go. I better get off this thing. <laughs>